Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says he will hold a summit with the European Union in Kyiv this week, a meeting he says signals rapid movement towards EU membership. Fighting continues in southern and eastern Ukraine with fierce exchanges in the Donetsk region. Russia claims to have annexed the region, but much of it is still controlled by Ukraine. The UK's Ministry of Defence is also reporting heavy shelling by Russia of Kherson, the city which Ukrainian forces recaptured last November. The Czech president-elect Petra Pavel has told the BBC Ukraine should be allowed to join NATO as soon as the war is over. In his first broadcast interview for the international media since defeating former Prime Minister Andrzej Babis this weekend, Mr Pavel, a retired NATO general, gave a robust defence of Western military aid. Our Prague correspondent Rob Cameron sat down with Mr Pavel and began by asking him whether what the West was sending to Ukraine was enough. Who can say uh, what is enough? It depends on uh, the development of situation on the battlefield. Uh, probably very few people uh, would have imagined uh, uh, that uh, Western countries uh, will be willing uh, to uh, provide Ukraine with uh, modern uh, main battle tanks uh, or uh, longer range artillery or, or, or um, uh, anti-aircraft uh, systems. Uh, Ukraine is also calling uh, for modern aircraft. Uh, what is the difference between sending modern fourth generation fighters and just sending artillery? In fact, I don't see any taboo because uh, uh, the only taboo that we have uh, from uh, a number of reasons is uh, direct uh, uh, involvement of uh, NATO militaries uh, in Ukraine. Uh, but uh, when it comes uh, to equipment, uh, there should be probably almost no limits because if uh, we want to support the case, uh, uh, then uh, we should uh, provide Ukraine uh, with uh, whatever they need uh, to succeed. But there are those who clearly do see sending fighter jets, um, sending modern tanks as escalatory. 3.4 million people voted for you this weekend, 2.4 million did not. And many of them, I'm sure, would favor what Andrei Babish calls you know, the uh, path of diplomacy rather than sending more and more weapons. Uh, how can you convince them? Yeah. Uh, by uh, presenting them the facts, uh, the end of war is entirely in Russian hands. Uh, it would take only one decision uh, uh, from President Putin uh, to withdraw the, the forces from Ukraine and the war is over. Should Ukraine join NATO? Uh, once uh, this war is over, uh, I believe that uh, uh, Ukraine uh, not only morally but also uh, practically uh, uh, will be ready uh, to join. Uh, Ukraine military will be probably the most experienced uh, uh, of, uh, of militaries in, in, in Europe. So you would like to see that Ukrainian flag at the next, uh, not the next, but a meeting of, of NATO in the future? Uh, I believe that they really deserve it.